Hey, what's up, you guys? Jeff Cohn here with another episode of the Team Building Podcast, where we interview top team leaders, broker owners, and thought leaders from across the country. Super excited today to be bringing you a solo episode in regards to our high-level team leader topic for the month of September. We're going to be kicking off the month and talking about marketing presentations, the importance of a buyer presentation to encourage a buyer to sign an exclusive buyer agency agreement, a listing presentation to ensure that the seller knows exactly what our unique selling proposition is, a recruiting presentation to enforce all the value adds that we have as a company to encourage agents to join our organization, and an investment presentation that we would propose uh, to any investment banker if you were wanting to raise capital for investment deals. Really excited about this specific topic um, we found as we built and scaled our real estate team, Omaha Elite Real Estate Group, which went from 70 to 700 sides, that you are only as good as your weakest link. Everyone's heard that before. And so we built marketing presentations to help each person in the organization have the same consistent message, enforce our brand, uh, support their clients by showcasing everything that we were able to offer to them. Before getting into content today, I want to reiterate and invite everyone and anyone to attend our upcoming team building workshop. We're going to be hosting that in Omaha, Nebraska, September 19th and 20th. The first day is investing all day long. We're diving deep onto how we built a portfolio of almost 200 doors in less than five years that's valued at over $20 million. And we show you exactly how you can do that in your own backyard. It's simple. It's creating a hybrid real estate team that doesn't just focus on traditional real estate, but also focuses on residential real estate acquisition and investing. Uh, we're also going to have day two, all day Tuesday, where we're going to focus on team building. We're going to bring to you the 12 core topics of our elite real estate systems content, call it our 12 pillars. It's going to focus on lead generation, lead conversion, all the systems and strategies that help us to continue to grow and scale a dominant real estate business in our market. We're going to talk about zero basing your marketing expenses through strategic partnerships, zero basing your administrative costs through broker fees, and anything and everything else under the sun that we believe is pertinent this year and going into the next decade to help you leverage and scale and be ready for the next challenge that the industry is going to be facing, which we believe will continue to be commission suppression, um, lack of inventory, supply chain challenges with new construction. And we have a lot of answers and we believe we know the solutions to be able to navigate these muddy waters. One of which, which um, I will not speak to on today's podcast, but I will be speaking to on at the September 19th and 20th event is to create ancillary businesses or multipliers that help you make more revenue off of each transaction and not have to be reliant on just the real estate commission which is obviously a topic I love to discuss. So if you want more information about the upcoming team building workshop, the last in-person workshop in 2022 in my backyard, Omaha, Nebraska, hosted out of our hybrid tech powered office, 15,000 square feet. It'll be the nicest residential real estate office you'll have ever been in. Uh, you'll get to spend the day with us two days in a row. We get to go out at night, do dinners. It's an amazing event. Go out to growwithers.com. Click on events. You'll have all the information there of how to sign up. Uh, they are two separate events. Investing is one day and team building is the other. You don't have to go to both. Most will go to both. We highly recommend that you guys come check out this event. So if you haven't already, go buy your ticket. As of today, I think there were 16 tickets sold. We try to keep the groups under 50. We expect there to be 30 to 40 people. The room seats 100. We keep the groups small so it's interactive and we can actually make it a workshop and not a lecture. So diving into content today, thank you guys again for listening to the Team Building Podcast with Jeff Cohn. Uh, we're over 200 episodes recorded and averaging 180,000 downloads a year. We want to get that to over a million. Obviously, real estate teams have caught this world by storm. People see that by creating economies of scale, they can make more money in less time with less energy and create leverage in their business. So part of the conversation today about marketing presentations does speak to leverage. A marketing presentation allows every client that is ever presented to to receive the same and or similar messaging that you as the rainmaker would want to create. Of course, the rainmaker listening to this today can go on a listing presentation or a buyer presentation and convince somebody to 
to choose to sign an exclusive buyer agency agreement or a listing agreement without breaking out a big 30 minute presentation or having a printed off presentation and where you walk them through step by step what is to be expected if they choose to work with you. But there's several big misses if you're not using the traditional presentation format. The first one, first and foremost, is making sure that there's clarity and a proper expectation going into the relationship with a seller or a buyer. What are your value adds? What can they expect over the course of the next seven days or 70 days? Uh, what's the onboarding look like when you take a new listing? When are pictures going to take place? What do the pictures look like? What do the flyers look like? How do they get the key to your sign runner so they can put a lockbox on the door? There's a lot of questions that, of course, a client has, and the listing or buyer presentation is intended to answer those questions and create clarity and, ex and be able to set proper expectations so that you're off to a good start in that relationship. A second reason is what if that client never is intending to buy or sell a house, but you're doing this presentation with them and you feel like it's not going to, you're never going to be able to recapture that time. It's our belief that more important than connecting that presentation to a dollar amount or a commission is to be looking at those relationships in a way that you're educating individuals that are in your sphere who already, or hopefully will eventually know you, like you, and trust you so that when they come in contact with someone that's considering buying or selling a house, they feel comfortable and confident that they can refer to you and they know exactly what your USP is. They know exactly your unique selling proposition and how you differentiate yourselves from the other agents in your, in your area. Of course, a new agent joins your company. They've done the business. They've been in the business for six months. They need some type of a template that they can go off of when they're walking into a buyer presentation or a listing presentation. You want everybody playing on an equal playing field within your organization so that you can increase conversion ratios and increase profitability. Um, Elite Real Estate Systems is making our listing presentation and buyer presentation free to the world. So if you're listening to this right now and you'd like to get an idea of what our presentations look like, as well as our elite guide to building and scaling a dominant business, you can go find all of those things for free at growwithers.com. Don't miss out on that. And I do believe we've made it so that you can easily take pictures out and take logos out and switch them out so that you can make it your own. Um, the next thing I'll talk about is on the recruiting side. Um, a lot of people just walk or recruit through the office and talk about what's offered. I really like to share with people. I think you need to talk about what's available. Then you, you show them what's available and then you can show them what you showed them. And what I mean by that, it's kind of like how they do radio advertising. So when you try to get somebody into your office, you're going to be running ads. That's the tip of your funnel, tip of the spear. Once they come to the office, you're going to actually have a presentation. You can sit down and show them. And then when they leave the office, you're going to give them something that's going to remind them of what was just talked about. We have always done the same thing for a listing pres and a buyer pres where you have the presentation format. We always use iPads or Mac minis uh, to do the presentations. And then you'll have something that you can leave behind that emphasizes all of the points that were talked about in person. Obviously, it's always our goal to get the client to sign on the line that's dotted the day of the appointment. That's the most likely time for somebody to sign an agreement. Uh, emotionally, they're in the right headspace. They have the time. You're there to answer questions, overcome objections, um, and walk them down that path. So you don't want to walk out after doing a presentation without having paperwork signed. In very rare instances, people will say they need time to think about it. Uh, the best overcoming objection to that question is what do you have to think about and then help them think through that process, hopefully then. Then the last presentation we talked about um, is in regards to the investment uh, conversation. So, of course, not everybody that listens to the podcast is focused on raising capital and or investing in real estate. But a lot of times people's number one hindrance or hurdle when wanting to get into investing is having the capital to do so. Right out of the gate, when we started going around to banks and wanting to raise capital, we knew that it would behoove us to set us ourselves apart from the other single family investors in our area. And so we put together a five or 10 page presentation that we would do on a PowerPoint. And it would, we would talk about what our business plan was, what our methodology was for finding the homes, what our methodology was for fixing the homes up, what we believed our profit margins would be. And it was all speculation. Now, of course, with a portfolio of almost over 200 doors, we have a track record of proof of concept 
that we know what to buy them at. We know how much on average we get them for under market. We know how much it costs to fix them up. We know how much we cash flow. And so we've incorporated that into our marketing presentation when we're meeting with banks and raising capital. And of course, there's not a lot of single family investors in most markets that are going to be able to have the numbers to back themselves up in a, a traditional, um, nice looking presentation that they can provide to the bank when they're meeting with them. And of course, when you're meeting with a bank, that's a business to business conversation, and they'll be impressed that you've come prepared for that conversation. There's a lot more that's going to get covered in the high level topic on marketing presentations that I'm not going to cover today in the podcast, but there's a lot of value uh, in a 45 minute listing presentation that you can provide to a consumer as you take them through everything and anything under the sun that you're providing to them um, as a solution when they choose to list their property with you. Of course, we're working to continue to justify the commission that we're charging a client. And it's been my belief that there will be commission suppression. I'm not a, I don't think that that should happen overnight. I think that agents can do a lot to continue to justify and earn a higher commission. And it all comes down to saving people time and money. So if they can generate more revenue in less time with less energy by working with you rather than working with someone else or trying to do it on their own, they're always going to choose to go with you. And so the presentations that you create, and this now goes for buyer presentation, listing presentation, recruiting presentation, and investment presentation, if those presentations can show the clients and or recruits that in your world, you can help them make the most amount of money in the least amount of time with the least amount of energy for them, then they're going to choose you over all of the other choices that they have. I'm really excited to be diving into this topic. If you're not already on the Elite Real Estate Systems platform, I'd love to share with everyone that we are offering special deals right now going into the fall. Uh, you can set up a time to go on a call with Logan Boyce. He's our director of marketing, and he can talk to you a little bit more about what some of those options look like. Again, go out to growwithers.com to set up a call with him. But what people don't recognize is that you could go hire a trainer for your agents and spend fifty to 100000 a year, or you can hire us at $500 to $1,000 a month. And every Monday and every Wednesday, we do agent training. And that's part of the team leader platform. Every Thursday, we do team leader training with Q&A attached to it. And every Tuesday, just as a bonus, we throw in investor training. So you're getting Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday training. And just recently, the last couple of months, we started adding ancillary business training where our very own owners of our mortgage company, title company, and insurance company come on to share their respective industries and tips and tools to help you build and scale your strategic partnerships or joint ventures within those ancillary companies. All of this all included in the $500 a month fee or $1,000 a month fee, depending on the discount that you're offered when you sign up. So don't hesitate to go on to growwithers.com, set up a time with Logan to find out a little bit more about what Elite Real Estate Systems has to offer you. And finally, if you've gotten a lot of value out of our podcast, please go out to wherever you're listening to this podcast and give us a review. Of course, I'd ask for a five star. And if I was interviewing a guest, give them a shout out. The algorithm that is created in you giving the review is how other people like you are able to find the podcast. So it would mean a lot to us if you would just take two more minutes right when you close this podcast episode and go out and review us so other people can find this, pro this podcast and be able to take advantage of all of the different content that we have created here. Um, last but not least, if you have a specific guest you want us to interview, somebody that you've seen speak nationally, someone you've seen speak in your own local market, someone that you think is extraordinary when it comes to building real estate teams, it can be a team leader, broker owner, or thought leader in the space, don't hesitate to reach out to Elite Real Estate Systems. You can just go out and make a comment on our, on our website or drop us a note on Instagram. We would love to get that person on the podcast, and we're always looking for high-level people to ideate around all of the different things we've talked about in building and scaling a dominant real estate business in your marketplace. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to the topic today, which is marketing presentations. And again, like I said, uh, the month of September, we're going to be diving deep into marketing presentations. We know that this is how we show our clients what we have to offer. This is how we separate ourselves from all of the average basic agents in our marketplace so that we can be elite and that we can get people, convince people uh, of what we have to offer, encourage people to see that we're more than just the commission. We want to build lifelong relationships of trust and get people to know us, like us, and trust us so that we can help them become 
so that we can help them maximize their profitability um, on their next real estate transaction and or in helping a realtor build a real estate career. Appreciate you guys following the podcast and stay tuned for more episodes like this one.